6 photo books in 6 minutes. Here are some of my favorite photo books that I've purchased over the past year. For me, photo books can be a very good source of inspiration uh, for your photography. And I really like exploring even genres of photography that I'm not into myself because it always can give you some good ideas and some inspiration. So the first book you're seeing right now is Micro Sculpture by Levon Biss. And this is an extremely uh, beautiful book with photos of insects. The book is very large and the photos are extremely detailed. Um, and they are all made up of thousands of shots stacked together and cropped together. And yeah, this is truly astounding, truly beautiful. And even if you're not into macro photography, this is a very inspiring photo book, I would say. Abandoned Places. This beautiful little book uh, was something I found in the bookshop at Taint Modern in London. And basically it's made by a pilot who travels all around the world, who is also a photographer and who likes photographing abandoned places. And uh, there are several different editions of this book, uh, which you might check out. and. Uh, I really love it because uh, this is a very well curated selection of abandoned places all over the world with uh, small texts to uh, describe uh, which places where and so on. And yeah, there's something I really like about this book. Very beautiful and very small and nice. The third book, Eastern Blocks by Supagraphica. I have always been quite fascinated with the architecture of old uh, eastern uh, countries uh, on the for from the former Soviet Union. And I don't know, uh, for me these buildings are a mix of beautiful and uh, dystopic and I cannot really like describe it any, any better than that. I just find these buildings fascinating. And all the photographs in this book are of extremely high quality. They are very beautiful, were very well composed. And this is a truly beautiful book, perhaps my favorite book in my collection right now. Book number four, Being There by Paul Hansen. This is a Swedish uh, photographer uh, who has traveled to a lot of crisis zones and uh, wars and so on. And I discovered him through an exhibition at Fotografiska Museum here in Stockholm. And he is truly a master of his craft. And in this book uh, you can see some of his best work. And uh, it's from a lot of conflict zones and wars and a lot of photos are very powerful and tragic, but um, I think what's nice about his work is that he manages to combine reporting on events with composing beautiful photographs that uh, convey emotion and that very often have beautiful colors and yeah, truly astounding work. Um, and even if I would never do this kind of photography myself, I always find myself very inspired by looking at his photos. Book number five, Cabin Porn. Um, I've always been fascinated by the thought of owning a small cabin somewhere very far out in the woods. Uh, a place to escape, to be by yourself. I guess this is the dream of any introvert. <laughs> that you sometimes just want to escape. And this book is all about that. It has a lot of stories and texts about these cabins and it features a collection of very beautiful photographs of cabins out in the woods. Simply cabin porn. I really love this book and it's very beautifully crafted with beautiful fonts, beautiful photos, beautiful layout. The whole book is a piece of art, I would say.
So the last book I want to feature is Instagram Changed My Life by uh, one of the early really big photographers on Instagram, Visslaren, uh, a Swedish guy who really became big in the golden age of Instagram where you could actually grow your account by simply posting beautiful photos and get discovered by people. And uh, Christopher Collin, uh, as his real name is, is a really masterful uh, nature photographer and he has collected all of his best work in this book. And yeah, it's simply beautiful. It also contains his story, how he went from having a normal 9-to-5 job to uh, supporting himself by traveling the world, taking photos on Instagram. Truly inspiring book, I really love this one and I'm picking it up from time to time to get inspired all over again. All of the books that I've mentioned uh, so far in this video, they are linked in the description below so you can purchase one of them yourself if you're interested or just learn more about them. And guys, please don't forget to subscribe to my photography newsletter. Tips like the ones you have seen in this video is a typical subject if, of my newsletter. I uh, try to aim at uh, writing about inspiring photographers and gear that I'm inspired by and uh, excited to try and all the other things that I don't have time to mention in any of my YouTube videos during the month. The newsletter is free, you sign up at mwroll.com and it comes out once a month. Please give me a like on this video if you did like it, it helps my channel a lot. And you haven't forgotten to subscribe I hope. I make new videos all the time and I'll soon post again so please subscribe. And you can find my work at mwroll on Instagram if you're curious. That's it for this video, over and out, see you soon again, bye.